Good morning students. Welcome to the Science 1 class. Today we are going to step into the next unit of chemistry. Unit 8 Periodic Classification of Elements What are called elements? Elements are the purest form of any substance. They are composed of only the same type of atoms. We can say that elements are the basic forms of all materials. Do you know the number of elements that exist? The number of naturally occurring elements or 98. But the total number of elements including man-made or 118 elements. Hence, it is difficult to learn all elements properties individually. To study about all these elements, it should be organized. And what is organizing? It means arranging the elements. Arranging is possible only when we categorize the elements. Only when we categorize or classify, it will be easy for us to learn about elements. So, classification of elements means categorizing elements into groups based on the similarities and differences in their properties. So, the classification system helps us in grouping the various elements into categories which we refer as periods. Hence, the system is referred to as periodic classification of elements. Students, you have already learnt about periodic classification of elements in class 9. Let's recall it. In the beginning of the 19th century, a famous German chemist, Doberiner, attempted classification of elements. He classified the elements known at that time in a particular manner. He placed them into groups having three elements each. Doberina arranged a set of three elements in such a way that the average of atomic mass of the first and third element in a set will give the atomic mass of the middle element. Let understand this with an example. One of the trick consists of lithium, sodium and potassium. Atomic mass of lithium is 6.9 and atomic mass of potassium is 39. If you take the average, what will be the answer? Yes, you will get 23. And 23 is the atomic mass of sodium. However, it was not a perfect method of classification because all elements not follow this principle when arranged in traits. Also, when Doberina put forth the system, only few elements were known. With the discovery of new elements, the system of grouping elements was not perfect. After grouping the elements in a series of three, there came a system in which the elements were grouped in a series of eight. And this system was put forth by a scientist John Newland in the year 1866. John Newland grouped around 56 elements. He arranged the elements in the increasing order of atomic masses. And he analyzed that every eighth element resembled the first element. It was like octaves found in music. In case of octaves, we find that Every eighth note is the same as that of the first one. In the same way, Newland found that 
every eighth element in the series resembled the first element. This is how Newland arranged the elements in a table. For example, if we take lithium, then the eighth element of it is sodium. So, lithium and sodium have similar properties. And the next example is beryllium. And the eighth element of it is magnesium. Beryllium and magnesium resemble each other. They have similar properties. This system was called as Newland Laws of Octaves. And this system was applicable only till the element calcium. Later, a well-defined system was put forth by a Russian chemist Mendeleev. When Mendeleev began to work on grouping the elements and arranging them, there were 63 elements known. He thought of arranging the elements based on the physical and chemical properties. To understand the chemical properties, he should make them to react with standard elements. He chose hydrogen and oxygen as the standard elements. Why he chose hydrogen and oxygen? Because they are very reactive. They are found readily and they form compounds with most of the elements. Later, he wrote the physical and chemical properties of all the 63 elements in a card. Then, he started arranging the cards in the increasing order of their atomic masses. After arranging, he had two observations. One is, there were few empty spaces left in the table. Mendeleev believed that these positions belonged to the elements that were not yet discovered. Later on, when these elements were discovered, the properties predicted by Mendeleev was perfect. Second observation of Mendeleev was the recurrence of the physical and chemical properties of these elements. What is recurrence? Meaning of recurrence is reoccur. When arranged, it was found that the physical and chemical properties of elements reoccurred or recurred at a particular interval of frequencies. With these observations, Mendeleev came up with a law named periodic law. The law states that the properties of elements are periodic function of their atomic masses. Let's understand the meaning of this law. Properties of elements means the physical and chemical properties of all elements in the table. Periodic function means those which occur at regular intervals. Of the atomic masses means while arranging in the increasing order of their atomic masses. So, we can say that when elements are arranged in the increasing order of their atomic masses, they show similarities in the physical and chemical properties at regular intervals. This is how Mendeleev laid the foundation for the modern periodic table. Okay students, that's all for today's class. In this video, we have learnt about the history of the periodic table. Thank you students. Have a good day.